in my forensic studio. It hasn't been here. It's pretty trippy. It's Sunday. Hey guys, check it out. Um, I'm developing that intro, but this is some incredible looking debris and footage, um, UFO material. You know, a lot of it looks like rocks. There's a few of them, you know, you're going to see. And, and Phil's been sending me these in for about eight months. I've been showing you guys, I think, about eight videos or nine videos of, of this debris. He's looking through, picture yourself looking on the backside of a doghouse with your telescope set up. With the cutout of the doghouses on the left, there's the sun. So what he's done is use some extreme filtering. And this is the stuff, when you see these blurry things happening beside the sun, the, you know, sun simulator, star shade, sun shade, they call it different names. I call it the machine because there's so much going on, you know. You see the ring, <clears throat> and it's a projection through a ring hiding this debris that we're cutting through all the glare. We're cutting through all the smoke and mirrors, okay? So, and I can't necessarily tell you everything's a UFO. You can see some things here are doubled up. Without even putting my forensic tool on it, you can see they're like exact objects. So I'm looking at two right, right up, up there, higher up there. No, I'm missing it. Anyways, um, Right around there, there's two right there, object, a dark one, and there's one to the left. It looks exactly the same. Like, well, bam. It's exactly the same stuff. So that could be a UFO. I don't know, but thank you, Phil. This is great footage. Um, this orange thing, as I study it, has like a tail. It could be a moon or planet. Um, and around it is the debris. I was fascinated with the one below it, but the one on top there... It's just something to look at and say, what in the world? Now, we're looking at the ring on top. See the... Okay, but in the center there, I believe there's... You know, I don't... I, I think there's two moons or a planet and a moon. Or green moon. Anyways, keep watching. I'm going to throw some, some incredible music on. Um, no, I'm not trying to scare you guys away. I'm putting the music according to the captures. So, this is all... Welcome to the machine. And a lot of you guys, if you need to, I'll put in the cards and I'll put in the end screen some other the um, some other uh, machine videos where you can see other views and other commentations on it or commentary. Um, I'm not an expert at this, but I know how to sh find it. I know how to show it. And if someone sends something like this, then I'm going to show it. Um, that's pretty incredible looking right there. Say so comment. Let your opinion be known. We're not going to throw your comment away. Don't curse everybody out. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel right now. So you get notified. Only, they notify about 10% maybe right now. These are the machines. These are UFOs. These are rocks and debris. It's incredible. And I'm just going to show it. Even if I don't know exactly what it is. So. I'm not trying to be like any other channel folks. I'm just trying to show you the truth. And explain it to my best of my understanding. Which is like about you guys' understanding. You can see the debris, the rocks, the asteroids. You just comment, timestamp. Thanks for coming. There you go. Let the, let the show begin.
come on, come on, come on. What is that thing? Skynet? Carrying off asteroids into the sun? Is it Skynet? Is it Skynet? I'm asking you, is it Skynet? Look at that. No explanation for that, Phil. None at all. Now just imagine, just imagine if you didn't have anything, the super bright sun glare cutting your eyeballs up, right? And you could see really clear these asteroids floating through our sky. Look, I mean, you could see them like against the blue sky or the milky blue sky, right? It'd be terrifying. So maybe, just maybe, thinking about this, it's good they hide them because it would be mass hysteria in the streets. Now, look at this. Are these rocks? Are these spaceships and rocks? Are these planets? Are these asteroids? You tell me. This is just another side of that sun. I don't know if it's real or fake. I really don't know. I mean, my opinion is a lot of it's fake. Where's our sun? Yeah, what is the question? Where's our sun? Maybe our sun is so small that it looks like a moon lit up like I showed you earlier. Right? Think about that. Well, what is this green thing? Is it a lens? Or is it a green planet? And then you got all these rocky debris. Some of these are UFOs. But most of these are rocks. Just big little moony rocks. That's the debris a million plus miles long.
So Phil says, let me throw a wheel in the sky. Chris will like this. And, um, you know, if this was a lens flare, people, one, clouds couldn't pass in front of it. Anytime clouds pass in front of something, it's passing in front of the lens. If it was on the lens reflecting, you would still see it on top of the cloud. My take. Scientifically, you figure it out. That's where I'm at. But this thing, we've seen it in Yukon. We've seen it in other areas of Alaska at least seven times. Probably got 12 videos on this stuff. And But this time, it's got a unique feature. I want to see if you could pick it out, timestamp it, and tell me what it is. It's square. I'll give you the hint. It's square. What is that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hear you thinking. Tell me what it is on the left right there. Now it's going to get clear. And then I might just end this video so it's not too long. And uh, I got some other stuff to show you. Um, I think I might put a sunrise that's mind-blowing this morning. So um, this was... 7 10 21 and today who knows what day it is 7 11 7 12 i'm not sure anyways enjoy the rest of the video have a great weekend bye